So what is going on everyone, I'm boss with you here, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the IDM not working in the Chrome browser. Or in other words, how to add the IDM extension to your Chrome browser. This might go into the integration of the IDM into the Chrome browser. And also some people might be looking to download the Internet Download Manager for Chrome when it is failing to work, but I'm going to be solving all this in this video. So let's get into right the video. The first thing we're going to do is first opening our Internet Download Manager here. And the first step in solving this uh, problem is we're going to have to update the IDM to the latest version. And in that, after you open your IDM, simply go to the Help tab. I'll go down to Check for Updates. It's going to check through for updates. When it's done, it's going to tell you you're using the latest version of the Internet Download Manager. Please check back again for updates mm, at a at little time. So this shows that I have an updated Internet Download Manager, so I don't need to update. But if it's not up to date, it's going to bring you a dialog box that might look like this. So it's going to give you a latest version for you to download and you'll have to download the latest version for you to get the latest version. Uh, secondly, uh, we're going to have to we're going to have to go into the Chrome browser integration. OK, and in that way, yeah, still we're going to use the IDM software here. OK, you're going to have to go down to the downloads, then go to the option tab. So still, if it, it opens in any of these tabs or downloads or something, you have to be in the general section. Uh, go down here you have to make sure that the use advanced browser integration is checked and is enabled so when you scroll down here you have your browsers and these are the browsers that are integrated with i don't have apple safari but it's already checked so if i happen to install a browser of the apple safari it's going to be it's going it's it's going to install the uh, the extension automatically so you have to make sure that your your Google Chrome extension is enabled. If, if, if this is not checked, you have to make sure it is checked. OK, we go right ahead. Just press OK and your browser integration will be just OK. Another thing, the reason why sometimes you get some problems with IDM not, uh, for example, if I check one of my videos here, uh, let me check this. OK, if you have problems of having a video that is not, uh, let me Click out the so what is going audio here. Okay, you can see if you don't have this download box here, uh, in some cases, if you launch the the Google Chrome in administration mode, in uh, for example, if you come and launch the uh, the Chrome browser, well, where do we have the Chrome browser? Okay, uh, if you right click the Chrome browser here, uh, let me. OK, if you run it as administrator, OK, in some cases, it's not going to be able to bring the same dialog box. Let me test that for you. All right, let me uh, right click, right click again. And if we run it as administrator, let me try with the. Uh, OK, my Internet is a bit slow. So if I try opening a video here, still in the Chrome, do you realize that we don't have the box here so in most cases you do not have to run the chrome browser within in the uh in the you don't have to run it as uh, administrator if you run it as administrator you're not going to be able to get this uh this dialog box that you have here the one that helps you to download your videos and in some cases, it might be a software like a, like a Windows launcher or a launcher, a custom launcher that you've put, for example, the uh, Total Commander, if you've used it before, it launches the uh, the Chrome by default. It's going to be launching it as, as, as administrator. In that case, you're not going to be able to find this. So make sure if you're running Chrome, do not run it as administrator. So, for so the fourth thing is that you might be having a new program deleting your IDM extension on your PC. And in most cases, you're going to have to download the extension manually. And uh, in this case, you're not going to be able to find the Chrome extension anywhere on the Google Store. 
For example, if you put in the IDM, IDM Chrome extension, you cannot find it and it is hidden deliberately by the, uh, uh, for example, if you open this, I've opened them all before. Okay, uh, it's already, okay, okay let's, uh, we're going to read that in a few minutes. Okay, the integration module, if you're trying to open this through the Google Chrome store, it's going to bring you all of these, but these are fake. According to the website of the, uh, of IDM, it's telling you, please know that all the IDM extensions that can be found in Google Store are fake and should not be used. So, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give you a link. I'm going to put, but if you ever, let me give you an example of these uh, IDM extensions here. Okay, this is the right one, but if you, uh, if you happen to, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, if you have, if you happen to check all these, uh, I've tried. I've I've tried. If if you search for them here, you're going to get things that look like this. I, I've already installed this, and I also have one that looks like this. Another one that appears to have this logo, but these are all fake. You cannot find it even if we, when you try to search it by default on the web browser. Or, I mean on the web store. For example, IDM. The extension is not listed by default. So I'm going to put the link into the description and when I go to this link that I'm going to give you, I'm going to put the link into the description. Okay. If you go into that link, it's going to take you to the original IDM integration module. All right. So the fifth thing that we're going to be uh, solving is going to be uh, configuring the IDM extension in the Google Chrome. Okay. In that way, in that we're going to, we're going to find a way if, if this is if you've installed this and uh, things are not still working, you're going to have to come down here into uh, more settings, come to the extensions, scroll down to the extensions. OK, go down. If you find uh, an icon has to be the icon has to look exactly has to appear exactly like this. These are all fake. You don't have to download them. Now, for example, I'm going to, uh, okay, okay let, me, let me first go through. So I have this IDM integration add-on, it's switched on. What you have to make sure is you switch all these off. I just downloaded them for the video purposes. But if you come here, if you look at my icons that, uh, that, that I use to launch uh, normally, but if I switch on this IDM uh, Internet Download Manager, there is, there is something it does to my browser. I think it's like it's it's like a virus, or there is something it's doing to my browser that I'm not commanding it to do. So what you do is you simply just remove anything that you've tried to uh, first uh, disable it, then remove. Yes, I want to remove. Okay, I also want to remove this remove okay so i simply go to the the original idm integration module go to the details and scroll down to you have to make sure that uh this uh is checked and it's switched on you scroll down you have uh, secondly you have to make sure that you allow the extension to read all your data you have it has to be in the in the all sites okay uh, and uh, lastly, you have to allow it to be to to be able to download into the incognito mode. Okay, and uh, that's it. So, if you have any pop up uh, pop up blockers that are happening to block this uh, extension here, so I've I've managed to put mine here. If you have any pop up blocker that is uh, blocking it, just simply uninstall or or. Just exit. Just go and exit. For uh, for example, if you go to uh, manage extensions here, uh, let me try showing you how to go up to them. Go to more. Go to extensions. I don't need those websites here. Uh, for example, if I if, if you've installed a new software that is trying to uh, disable your IDM integration module, just go ahead. You can switch it off. For example, you can switch off this, or you can switch off any of them that might be that might be interfering with your IDM uh, extension. If you if you want to download a new IDM that uh, works and does not pop up registration dialogues, you can, uh, I've made a video about that. Uh, I'm going to put the link into the description. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. 
and uh, if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section down below i appreciate you subscribing to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video